hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to discuss about beer production and for that let's first discuss about malting there are about five to six steps in the beer production and very important step and the first step is the malting let's get started beer is produced from the barley grains Barley grains are first cleaned and then soaked in water for about 2 days then excess water is drained away and the barley are incubated for 4 to 5 days to allow germination the germination steps allow the formation of highly active alpha amylase beta amylase and protease enzyme as well as various flavors and color components the germinated seeds are then killed by slow heating at 80 degrees this process is called kilning the kilning temperature must not harm amylase enzyme. Furthermore, if kilning temperature is higher, darker will be the beer produced. Next step is the mailing. The dried barley grains are then crushed between rollers to produce coarse powder called grist. Next step is mashing. Grist is mixed with warm water and the resulting material is maintained at 65 degrees C for about 1 hour. In doing so, starch is hydrolyzed by amylase enzyme to produce single sugar, maltose, dextrose, etc. Similarly, protein is hydrolyzed by proteolytic enzymes into small fragments. Now, next step is boiling of wort. The filtrate is then boiled with stirring for 2-3 to three hours and then half flowers are added at various intervals. Now, reason for boiling of wort. For extraction of half flavor from the half flowers, Boiling coagulate remaining protein and partially hydrolyze protein and help in removal of protein. Boiling inactivate enzymes that were active during mashing otherwise cause caramelization of sugar. Boiling also sterilize and concentrate the wort. Now you might be thinking what is this hop flowers? So hops are dried flowers of hop plant. Advantage of hop addition in the beer are provide beer with pungent and aromatic character, provide tannin which help in coagulation of remaining protein, contain alpha resin, beta resin which gives better flavor as well as preservation action. Now move on to the fermentation step. Yeast is the most important element to make it alcoholic and carbonated. By fermentation, yeast convert glucose into ethanol and CO2. The specific chemical equation is shown here. This is the journal equation. The specific product can be influenced by the type of yeast used in the brewing. Ale yeast is top fermenting, means it is fermented at higher temperatures. Lager yeast is bottom fermenting, means fermented at lower temperature producing crispier taste. During incubating yeast with wort, the temperature should be 3.3 to 14 degrees C. This process is called pitching. After filtration of the product, we obtain pure beer, which is stored in wooden barrels, metal vats. Here, aging and maturation of beer is completed. After pasteurization, beer is bottled. So this is all about tech behind beer production. I have already made video on wine production you can check you will find link in the description box. and do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon thanks for watching